Hi, in this video I'm going to talk you through how to use my new Remix Dex 2 controller for Tractor Pro 3 and the new version of Touch OSC. It allows full control of two of Tractor's Remix decks as well as the freeze mode and step sequencer features on each deck. To use it you'll need a tablet, so either an Android or an iOS device with the new Touch OSC app running on it as well as Tractor Pro 3 running on your Mac or PC. The layout and the mapping are both completely free with an option to pay what you want and they're available from my website. There's a link in the description to this and also to the Hexler website where you can buy Touch OSC. You'll first need to upload the layout to Touch OSC on your tablet and import the mapping or the TSI file into Tractor and then connect your tablet to your computer. Instructions on how to do this are on my website and you can check the link in the description. Once it's loaded, you'll be presented with the following screens. Here I'm streaming my iPad screen to my computer with a mouse connected to my iPad so that you can see what I'm doing on the iPad screen. So let's look at the controls for Remix Dex 2. At the bottom here, you've got your standard um, track controls, so play, cue, cue, play, flux mode and reverse deck. And you've also got your loop controls here. The left and right buttons can be used to change the loop size and you can turn the loop on or off by using the loop button. These controls in grey on the right hand side are kind of universal controls. Or you can change the view here by using this tab to change from deck mode or freeze mode or step sequencer mode but for now we'll leave it in deck mode. The shift button is used to access secondary functions on some of the buttons. Save, if you hold down shift and press save, that will save your current remix set. Browse will open up the main file browser in Tractor. You can use the up and down buttons to select individual files or you can hold down shift and use the up and down buttons and this will move through the tree on the left. You can also expand or collapse any of the folders on the left here by using this plus minus button. And to load a remix set, you would simply browse for the remix set you like and press the load set button. And now we can see that the set is loaded into Tractor. Up at the top here, you've got individual volume controls for each of the four sample slots as well as filter controls for each of the four. Here you've got the deck sync button which will sync your deck to the current master tempo or if you hold shift and sync that will set the current deck as master. Got quantize controls here to turn quantize on or off for the deck, or hold shift and press quantize to turn the master quantize on or off. Notice when it's on, this will light up in green. These plus minus buttons here will change the quantize size for the deck, and holding down shift and pressing these will adjust the tempo up or down. Delete, if you hold the delete button, and press any of the sample cells, this will delete the sample from the sample cell. Or holding down shift will unload the entire set. So let's load that back in again. The capture button I'm going to come to later. And the reverse, if you hold down reverse and press any of the sample cells, that will play that particular slot in reverse until you release the reverse button. This area here will change depending on which mode you've selected. So here we've got deck mode, this changes for freeze mode, and changes again for step sequencer mode, and I'll talk you through how these work in a little while. For now though, let's just look at the deck mode. Each remix set can have up to four pages of samples, which you can access in Tractor by pressing these buttons here to the left. Or you can use the page up and down buttons to select which page of samples you want to access. 
and we'll keep it on page one. Pressing any of these sample cells buttons will trigger the sample cell. And pressing stop will stop that particular slot. Holding shift and stop will mute the sample slot. There are various different states for each of the sample cells. Here with the state in a dark green colour, this means that there isn't a sample loaded in that particular sample slot, which you can see corresponds with our remix set here in Tractor. When it's coloured in this shade of green, this means that there's a sample loaded, but it isn't actually playing at the time. You notice there that the sample slot went a lighter green colour. This means that the sample is cued to play and it will actually trigger depending on the quantize size that you have chosen. So here I've got the quantize set to four beats. So at the start of every bar, the sample slot will trigger. The loop and hold buttons down here will change how your sample is played. So you can turn loop on or off for the currently selected sample cell. Or you can turn hold on or off. Uh, with hold on, it will play the sample right through to the end. With hold off, it will only play the sample for as long as you have the button held down. This is kind of useful for triggering one-shot samples. Finally, if you hold down shift, and press any of these, you'll notice that these little LED lights come up at the top. These are to indicate whether key lock is on for each of the four sample slots. But they can also be used to control whether FX send is on or off, whether monitor is on or off for each of the four sample slots, or whether you have punch enabled for each of the four sample slots. Let's just leave this at key lock on. So when it comes to playing the actual remix set itself, pressing any of the loaded samples here will trigger that particular sample cell. You'll notice when I press the sample cell, the cell will turn a lighter colored green. This indicates that the sample is cued to play. When it's actually playing, you'll see like a, a light green border around the sample. So let's just play some of these. Going back to this capture button, what you can do is you can load into any empty sample slot um, either the contents from a looped section of deck A or deck B or the contents from your loop recorder. So let's load a track into deck A. You can switch between the capture source by holding shift and pressing the capture button so you can switch from deck A to deck B or to loop recorder. Let's leave it for now on deck A and you can use these buttons to select the size of the loop that you want to transfer. So we'll go with a four beat loop and to load it into a sample cell simply hold down the capture button and press the empty sample cell. And if I just stop these tracks, you'll notice when I press this, it's now playing the loop that was in Deck A. Mm. 
Moving on now to the freeze mode. What this will do is instantly chop up uh, whatever's playing in your remix set into 16 equal slices. The size of the slice is determined by these up and down buttons here. And you can have this anything from a quarter of a beat to a beat up to four beats. But we'll leave it for now on one beat slices. Pressing the on button will instantly chop whatever you're playing into these 16 slices and assign them in order to these 16 pads here. You can change the order of these pads so at the moment they're running from bottom to top. If you press the flip button they instead run from top to bottom so your first slice will be here and your last slice will be here. But let's keep it back in the original format. The first slice is here, the last slice is here. So let's switch to deck mode and we'll play just the drums from our remix set. We'll switch back to freeze and we'll start to chop this up. So pressing the on button will start to chop. Finally, let's look at the step sequencer. The step sequencer works the best with just one shot samples and Tractor provides you with some of these to start you off. So let's go into browse mode and we'll go to remix sets and we'll scroll down here to the step sequencer drums. So again, we'll just press load set to load the whole of this set into Tractor. You'll notice now in Tractor, we've got the four slots that are filled with various samples. So in the first one, we've got kick samples. Second one, we've got snare samples. Third one's usually hi-hats. And the fourth one is uh, percussion instruments. And we've got four whole pages of these in Tractor. So if we press the on button and play the deck, you'll notice that the sequencer is now moving through the sequence. You can change the order using the flip button. So instead of going from bottom to top, the sequencer will run from top to bottom. But for now, we'll leave it on bottom to top. And we'll just stop that for the moment. So you've got control of each of the four slots and you can access these by using the slot up and down buttons here. So here we've got access to slot one, slot two, slot three, slot four. So let's increase the tempo a little first. And we'll place a kick on each of the four beats in the bar. You can change the actual sample that you are using in Tractor here. So you can choose from any of these 16 that are here in only the four pages by pressing load sample and moving through these buttons here. So let's set this plane and we'll swap through a few different samples. Okay, I like that one, let's stick with that. Let's move now to slot two and we'll add some snares. And let's find a different snare sound. Move now to hi-hats on slot three. And then percussion on slot four. I'll just stop this again for a moment. Now, each of the four sample slots can have different lengths. So by default it's set to 16, so it will run through all 16 of the pads in order. You can change this though, if you hold shift 
and press the up down buttons you can change the length so let's change the length on slot four to six sixteenths and notice what happens to the little sequencer led here it'll repeat after every six steps So this can make for kind of interesting polymeters if you set different lengths. So that's set to 5 sixteenths. Let's try it on 7. And finally, we've got a swing control, which is like a global swing control for the whole of the step sequencer. Okay, I think that covers pretty much everything. Um, if there's anything I've missed, I'm going to leave it in the description down at the bottom. Uh, but I think that covers it all. Um, but if you do have any questions, um, please contact me um, either through my website or you can leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.